welcome to my caravan. <laughs> Unfortunately, this van has not been used for uh, about seven years. It's been parked on our drive um, for what I, well, whatever reason we didn't get to use it. We, and um, since it's been sat here, because it was a Bailey um, Discovery, which we bought brand new back in 2004 and it had a bit a few problems well when we first had it after the first year it leaked so went back um, they had to put a new panel on the back because that was split apparently it was a design fault when it was built um, so that went back to um, the caravan dealership which was near to where we live <coughs> um, that was all repaired um, three or four years later it was parked up and we never used it now last year I came in here after about five years and I thought to myself that wall looks a bit bulgy anyway you have a look at this and I'll show you what's happened to our I'll show you what's happened to the van Right, that's the bathroom. Now the whole wall's gone, so I have to. I've got to take that. I've got to take the um, sink out, and I've got to reply all that because the water came in. Um, same goes for this one. If you can see that, here we go. Oh, um, that's all gone through there. Uh, that piece of timber down there, that's that's rotted through, that's gone completely. That was, that was a repair that I did four years ago, from the first time it, it leaked. Um, it was just, uh, actually no, five years ago. Five years ago I did that one. Um, now with that one there, with that up there, the water came in and it started to rot this timber here. Um, now, it was just out of warranty. Uh, we had a five years water ingress warranty, which it was, um, which it had just expired. So um, it would have cost us thousands to get it repaired. So I thought oh, I'll just patch it up. So I dried it all out, patched it up. Um, unfortunately, it still carried on coming in, as you can see up there. It's dried out now. It's start, yeah, it's starting to dry out now. But yeah. Oh, it's not good. So basically, I've I've got to repair all these timbers. Um, what I'm going to do is treat them with wood preserver because basically what's happened I mean I've done old caravans before I've had caravans in the past I've bought old wrecks rebuilt them put new re-injected the floor with resin um, I've got a proper tub of glue to do this so I've got all the proper stuff um, I haven't got this wall board so um, it's um, this stuff basically won't match all I'm putting on is standard plywood so It'll just have to be wallpapered. But, um, yes, very disappointed to be honest. When you think you spend £12,000 on a brand new van, you think you're getting something decent, but unfortunately we didn't. And when we went to, you know, if we were to go back to the uh, the builders, well, if we had problems, say, look, the, the, the work that was done wasn't done properly because it wasn't sealed, which is why, because when it was done, when they did the warranty work, it wasn't sealed properly, which is why it's gone like it has now. They went through the hoop. The, the company that sold us has, um, has gone. So the, the warranty work... Now, I don't know if this is the same, but with Bailey Caravans, they have their warranty work is carried out by their dealers. Now, if the dealer goes, you're left high and dry, because that's what happened with us. I mean... Um, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, how old is it now? It's nine years old now, so we got no chance, so i got to do it myself anyway. But, you know, if we'd have known this, uh, 
six years ago. You know, well, we wouldn't be in this state, but there we go. Hindsight, isn't it? So all I'm saying is, um, if you've got a, if you have a Bailey caravan of about the same age, go in and check your bloody walls. Make sure they're, um, make sure they're not bulgy. Now the problem with this is we, all right, we we didn't pay as much as what some people would for their vans. This van, um, I mean, all in all, we, you know, we paid. Nine, ten grand, something like that. And, um, you get what you pay for, you know. Personally, I think I'd go for German next time, a Heimer or something like that. I'd go for something solid. I wouldn't, I mean, these timbers, they're, um, it's cheap wood. It's cheap wood. It's not seasoned properly. The plywood is rubbish. There's no season in it whatsoever, you get the slightest bit of moisture in behind it, blow it all to pieces. I mean, you can see with that one down there, you can see with that down there, look. And that's completely rotted, that's got complete, that's got dry rot in it. There's no, um, there's no timber left, it's just rotted away. I mean, it's rubbish, absolute rubbish, it's, it's cheap materials. You know, if decent materials were used, it wouldn't have got like this. But, um, there we go. Anyway, I shall, sure um, I'm going to make a start on this this week. So, I will keep you up to date. And I'll uh, bring some more videos of what we're doing, how I'm doing it, and whatever else. And, um, I'll let you know how we're getting on. So, sorry, it's a bit of a mess in here. Like I said, it hasn't been used for years, so uh, I'm going to try and get it back up together again and start using it. Which would be nice. So, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, then. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you see, sub here and um, 